Hi everyone, welcome into the AccraSure playbook at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex, where this week we're gonna take a look at last year, how the Steelers defense handled Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Now I'm gonna show you one play, but conceptually, they did this the entire game. You talk about playing well as a defense from pressure, the coverage was outstanding. So we're first gonna start with their coverage because that was the thing that kind of stood out the most is how well they covered guys and Josh Allen just didn't have anywhere to throw it. You know, they're in an empty formation. The Bills send everybody out. But I want you to just watch the secondary and how well they matched up and they were where they needed to be. That's one step that you gotta have before we get to the pressure that they put on Josh Allen. So as we snap the ball, you'll see when everybody gets to the depth of their drop, um, Josh Allen gets to the depth of his drop, really there's nowhere to throw the football. We'll get to the what they do up front here in a second. You know, from a coverage aspect, you know, really the only guy that he has is this flat right here, but this is where the Steelers are so good. Your corner's in perfect position, this way. Great coverage here right here, safeties are great, depth. Everybody was outstanding from a coverage aspect. This happened actually a majority of the game. So they were terrific on the back end that we call it. Josh Allen doesn't really have anywhere to throw the football. Now he does try to make a throw. It's incomplete because it has to be a really tight stick throw. But this is the other element I thought they were outstanding. From a pressure aspect, I never saw them bring five guys. That doesn't mean they blitz because this is a, a form of a blitz. But they did this. They moved guys around. They had guys standing, looking like they're coming, and then entering the box, leaving the box. So they made a lot of confusion and they moved a lot. And that is really important because it challenges these guys up front here. You know, which way are we gonna slide? Who are we gonna block? So they made it very tough on them initially. So as we snap it or get to the, the ball, see how they just shifted? Now, this is important. Highsmith is going to be a guy they want to take care of. Well, in this particular situation, that's exactly what they do. They're going to slide this way. Now what happens, and then they bring, they're really only going to bring um, three other guys from here. So they only bring four guys total, but they attack the two side versus the three side. And let me show you what happens as they snap the ball. Once we snap the ball, Highsmith leaves. Now that's really important. So he vacates the box. You now have the slide going his way, and all you're doing is blocking one guy. And here's the stunt slash, you know, the, the pressure of it all. A great job here. You're gonna have somebody come up off the slot here, and then you're looping around. So you got three guys attacking these two guys. So it's a blitz pressure, but with only four guys. That's really important because trying to get Josh Allen, A, not giving him an escape route, getting pressure on him so he throws the football, and we've already seen how great it is on the back end. That combination played for probably the best defense I saw all year against the Buffalo Bills. Schematically, they were outstanding, and then they executed it perfectly. They'll go back and look at this game. They're gonna look at the things that they did well. If they can mirror those things, boy, I will tell you this, they have a very good shot of doing their spot or their job as far as defensively and helping them win this game.